So a couple years ago, I watched Baby and I felt highly motivated to learn the language. Here's the motivation in question. So I'm gonna tell you my tips and tricks on what I did to learn Italian by myself. Okay, so let's start with the basics. I'm a firm believer that a language is learned both by immersion and also the old school method, which is the one that they teach us in school. I took French when I was in high school and because I wasn't really immersing myself in the language and looking for TV shows and music and kind of putting that effort to learn the language outside of school, I never actually learned it and to this day I still don't really know the basics of French. So when I started to learn Italian I really wanted to take on both approaches and I feel like the mixture of those two was the perfect approach to learn the language. So let me tell you all about it. April 2020 was kind of a very intensive Italian month for me. For the immersion part, I kept watching Baby over and over again the whole month. And for the old school approach, I ordered myself an Italian book and a notebook that I was just gonna dedicate to the language. While I waited for my things to come home, I looked up the 1000 most common Italian words and I made flashcards. I think you can get them at your local grocery store or also in Amazon. So what you wanna do is that you wanna write your word in Italian and then in the back you wanna write the translation and you're gonna go over them a couple times a day, especially before going to bed. At night, our brain is a little more receptive to information and it absorbs a lot of the things that we're trying to learn. So that's gonna help you learn them a lot faster. The first week, you wanna do the first 100 words and then the second week, you wanna do the other 100 words until you eventually get to the 1000. I never actually went through the whole words because by the time I got to the 300 word, I kind of already knew a lot of vocabulary because I was doing other things at the same time. So let me tell you all about that. I ordered this Italian grammar book. This is by the brand Barons, and I also got my Italian notebook. So what I did with this notebook is that I separated it in three different parts. The first part was basic vocabulary, vocabulary that you would probably use every single day if you were to travel to Italy or live in Italy and the other part was il giornale I will try to journal every single day keep in mind this were pandemic time so I wasn't really doing a lot of things but I was still journaling and the last part of my notebook is the grammar section there's a lot of examples in here that require you to know certain words so it's very important that you go through the grammar first. I have a board on Pinterest where I have different vocabulary pictures that you can use. I'm probably gonna link that in my description. The first thing that you have to know in any language that you want to learn are the days of the week. So that's the first thing that I wrote in here. And then I also wrote the months of the year and I kind of started looking into prepositions, the numbers. This is also a basic thing to know. I wrote a couple of questions that are very common, especially when you're traveling there. Colors, also a basic. Definitely try to learn this in your first Italian session. Animals, the weather. I wrote some bad words because you know, you never know when you're gonna use them. You never know when you're gonna use a bad word, especially if you travel there. So it's important. Different fruits, vegetables. I also wrote different emotions. For the grammar section, I will actually just advise buying yourself a good grammar book and kind of going subject by subject. In here, I will kind of just write the most important grammar things that I was learning every day with some examples. And yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. So let's go over immersing yourself in the culture. TV shows are very important. I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you're probably already watched Baby. It's a heavy TV show, but for learning Italian and kind of grasping some of the accent that is on the show, it's a very good TV show. So. I would definitely recommend watching it over and over again. What I loved to do when I was watching it for the fifth time was trying to repeat some of the words that the actors were saying. And I feel like that was very crucial to me actually feeling a little bit more comfortable with speaking Italian. I think the Roman accent is the best accent in the whole world. So that's the one that I tried to copy whenever I, I attempt to speak in Italian. Another TV show that I watched was Summertime and I also watched Scam Italia. The actress from Baby also has a good couple of movies on Netflix. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. I do know Lorenzo has another TV show on... Prime. It's called Prisma. I've never actually watched it, but if you're looking for another TV show, aside from the ones I already mentioned, 
that one is also there okay let's talk about pop culture and how you can actually implement this into your daily life so during 2020 i followed cara Ferragni. she's a very famous italian influencer i do know she is currently going through a lot of shit and i don't really follow her anymore so i'm not sure if she's the best person to follow in 2024 i don't know how much she is actually speaking on her stories but back in the day she used to vlog her daily life and she will speak in italian all the time and that really helped me kind of keep it very fresh i would definitely recommend finding other italian bloggers that speak on their stories i'm gonna try to do my research and find someone that's likable that speaks italian so you can guys follow them on instagram but i mean if you want to follow chiara Ferragni, she's still there so that was kind of how i was getting my daily italian intake and another thing that i did was follow news outlets on instagram i used to follow this account this is such an easy way to implement your daily italian reading and some of the grammar concepts are gonna start looking more and more familiar each and every time i used to watch some italian youtubers as well i really liked ox dane but i don't think she posts videos anymore i also read a book in italian il piccolo principe but you can look for the translation of other books and that's also gonna help you grasp the language in general i feel like sometimes reading and listening to music helps you so much more than actually going to italian classes i don't know i have to admit i never actually finished this book i think i did around half the book and then i kind of just gave up on it because i felt like i could already get around speaking italian it was pointless for me to finish the book but i didn't reach b1 the first month of learning italian i think i'm a b1 now because i've been very consistent with keeping the language fresh this is when duolingo comes to play at first duolingo is going to be very basic and i feel like you're going to be like oh this is so stupid like why am i doing duolingo but it's such a good way to keep the language fresh as well a daily lesson in duolingo is so much better than not doing duolingo at all so i would definitely recommend taking up on duolingo and having a daily streak if you have friends that are learning a language as well it can be very fun because you do have different challenges and things that you can do with your friends i actually have a 760 duolingo streak and it's all in italian i only do one lesson a day because i am lazy but it does help okay let's talk about the music because this is something that i'm very passionate about i think san giovanni is only popular in italy but manuski is very popular worldwide i got really really into their music especially san giovanni i really like the music he used to do back in the day so i would definitely recommend listening to some of his work it's so so good i'm gonna make a playlist with all of my italian favorite songs i'm gonna link it in the description as well so you guys can listen to it but italian music is really really good i really really like it if you feel this way about italian as well definitely go for it like you're gonna learn the language if you're passionate about it you really are so when i was watching other youtubers talk about how they learned italian by themselves because i used to be one of you guys four years ago i stumbled upon someone who recommended this app which is called hello talk and i had such a good experience with this everyone in the app really only care about learning a language so it's a good community where you can ask other people your different grammar questions and it connects you to people all over the world who are trying to learn your native language so you help them learn english or spanish or whatever your native language is and they help you learn italian or the language you want to learn i talked to a couple italian people back in 2020 and i actually kind of became friends with I mean, I wouldn't recommend this and definitely don't do it. If you're old enough, you can do it. If you're more than 20, you're fine. But I became friends with a guy that I met on the app. And then when I finally did travel to Rome, he took me all over the city in his motorcycle. And it was honestly the best experience ever. It was very, very fun. And it was all thanks to me back in 2020 who decided to learn italian so that was very fun listening to podcasts is also very good this is kind of like watching a tv show you're kind of hearing italian all the time sometimes when i'm working out i play my favorite italian podcast when i'm feeling like it so this one is the one that i like the most it's called il podcast italiano avanzato and it basically talks about different global issues in italian and two other podcasts that i really recommend especially for people who are starting off are italian stories in italian and coffee break italian coffee break italian i feel like it can be a little bit more boring because it kind of just talks about uh, the grammar and grammar lessons but you know it's still good lastly 
I talked to myself in the shower back in 2020 and also whenever I was alone. I thought it was fun. I liked seeing how I was putting up sentences together. I would introduce myself and kind of just pretend I was, you know, being asked questions and I will try to answer them. And that's kind of when I realized how much vocabulary I had because if I was able to talk about certain topics that means I have that vocabulary but if I didn't know how to say certain words it meant that I had to look up the vocabulary from those topics so that was very important to me as well um definitely do it I mean my family didn't give a fuck that I was talking to myself in Italian in the shower so yours is probably not gonna give a fuck either so like I mentioned I think I'm a B1 now i think i was able to reach this level by staying very active with my italian language and i still rewatch baby every now and then i actually rewatched it like a week ago oh this is another tip that i have for you when you feel like you already know some basics definitely play baby with italian subtitles that's how you're gonna know how much italian you're actually learning if you're able to understand a good portion of it you're doing very well and if you can't understand anything then you need to work on it if i was able to learn italian by myself you can do it as well it's not that hard but my first language is spanish so i do know they both come from latin i'm not sure if that might be be the reason why I didn't struggle with it at all. I think French for me was a little harder to learn. I still don't know French and it also comes from Latin. So maybe it was a mixture of having Latin roots, but also just the right motivation. So I'm gonna try to speak a little bit of Italian right now. I do have a video just speaking Italian. So if you wanna look that up, you can look that up. But let's see how well I speak because I haven't spoken in a while. Ciao, mi chiamo Alison. E sono 19 anni. No, non sono 19 anni. Ciao, mi chiamo Alison. Sono 23 anni e vivo in Messico. Non so che dire. Parliamo di italiano. L'italiano è una lingua che mi piace tantissimo perché non lo so, penso che è una lingua molto bella. E quattro anni fa stavo guardando la serie Baby. Ho avuto l'idea di imparare l'italiano da sola perché non lo so, la verità penso che stavo un po' uh, annoiata. Penso che ho fatto un buon lavoro, ma non lo so, che pensi? Sto un po' nervosa perché non ho parlato italiano in, in un po' da tempo, ma non lo so, penso che magari non l'ho dimenticato del tutto. Allora, grazie per guardare questo video e aspetto vederti in la prossima volta. Ciao!